Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Coltrane interviews. This is the Train Talks podcast. I'm your host, Coltrane, and we took a break from the interviews in July. July was a busy month. It was a hectic month, um, but we are here in August. When you see this video, this it, this is not being recorded in August. When you see this video, it, it, it you will it will be posted in August. Happy happy August 2024. Eight months into the year already, man. This year is flying by, man. I cannot believe it, but uh, we are here. The Cold Train interviews are back and better than ever, and we have a special, special guest, a guy that's fairly new to the universe mode community, to the sports community here on YouTube.com. His name is, is it B underscore Ron or B? How, 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 how do you call me? Is it B Ron? <laughs> yep. B Ron. B Ron. B Ron. All right. I, think, I need, listen, let, let me tell you something. First off, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing wonderful, man. It's good to be here. On the show with you for the first time, man. I am so excited to be get to talk to you and have, you know, me get be, have you guys get to know me a little bit and all that stuff. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. For, for first off, I want to know how you got that name. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm concerned. Yeah. About. Yeah. So so <laughs> it's not it's nothing too crazy, really. Uh, B Ron is just a short version of my actual name. Um, and then sports is just what I do on the uh, YouTube channel here, so that's why I call it B Ron Sports. Okay, um, so so what type of content do you post on YouTube? I know Universe Mode is one of them, but what are the like other sports that you post? So I do a variety of things on the channel, as you mentioned, I do the WWE Universe Mode stuff, but I also do a lot of uh football stuff with Madden with uh, the newly released college football football 25 that's come out uh and I'm all, I also do uh baseball stuff on the channel from time to time too um I had a uh, super, super super mega baseball 3 franchise series that went on for a good little bit of time that's my longest running series on the channel actually uh mm -hmm. it ended for you uh, maybe about a year or so ago but it was still one of the longer series on the channel that I've had, but it's a variety of things between wrestling, football, and baseball, kind of the main like three right now. Uh, there are plans to do more with other things later, but I haven't really gotten that far in my thought process in terms of how to start those, that kind of thing. But mostly right now, it's just baseball, wrestling, and football. Okay. So like with football, what are your current thoughts on Madden right now? I know Madden 25 will be releasing uh, whenever this podcast is out this month. Uh, yeah. Are you excited for the new Madden? So yes, I am. Uh, I am excited for it. Uh, as, as as we're recording this, there the gameplay trailer came out, and they're starting to show off some new things, market the game, that kind of stuff. And I am, I'm not one of those people who hates on Madden because you're gonna see a lot of those people who you know hate on Madden just to hate on and all that. So I'm not that guy. I'm very very much a person who wants to look at the positive side of things when it comes to any sort of piece of media that we have, video games, whatever it is. Um, but I really and so I enjoy Madden for what for what it is. If you want to be you want to be something else, that's fine. I'm very much a simulation kind of gamer, and when it comes it comes to making content, especially, um, so that's kind of where my focus is when it comes to that sort of thing, simulation style of gaming and all that stuff. So, but Madden, I enjoy for what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I took a break from Madden. Um, I haven't bought a Madden since Madden 22. Um, because I vowed that I wasn't going to, whenever the pl PlayStation 5 came out, um, mm -hmm. I vowed that I was not going to get a new sports game, and I kept my <laughs> vow until I get a PS5. I got my PS5 okay. in 2023. I did buy College Football 25. That was the first modern S sports game I played since 20, when, when, when Mad 22 came out, 20, let's say 2021? Yeah. Yeah, so it, 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 was, it, was, it was three yeah. years since I played an EA sports game. Um, I... I'm like that too, but I look more on the positives because you know EA is the only people that make these games. Yep. yep. Um, but I I I am skeptical of EA. Um, I have I made rants on EA before. <laughs> I've called them out on their BS, like with the microtransactions. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. At you know, I'm not one of those shills for EA. Absolutely not. No, but I'm not. Whenever either. Madden does something good, I say this is good. You know, whenever Madden does something that's terrible, I'm gonna say, hey. You need to fix this, you know. Yeah. Same for and, like the WWE 2K series, right? You know? Exactly. Because um, you know, I always say like 
like you know being overly positive for something you're never going to get the product that you want because right you have to be critical but you have to absolutely. be critical but but the way you be critical is you provide that constructive feedback Thank there's you. A, there, there's a difference between that and doing what you know somebody like uh you know I'm not going to I'm not going to name names but well, you, I, I already <laughs> know I already know who you're talking about you know talk about I, okay All I right. used to watch the guy um yeah yeah, you don't what do that he now. does, like, I don't know if you watch this guy, but Soft Drink TV is somebody yep. that I like with re sports reviews. Yeah, because he he's critical of it, but he also goes he gives the positives, he gives the negatives, and he gives them like things that they can improve on. Yes, and exactly. EA has slowly but surely things that he talked about in his videos from years ago. They're mm -hmm. finally implementing that in, into Madden and making franchise more better. Like you said, I'm a simulation guy for, for my football games. I'm a simulation guy for my basketball games. I don't I don't play online on these games no. unless I'm playing with friends. Yeah. I'm not a competitive yeah. guy. I don't touch Ultimate Team. You get my $70 nope. or if, if I feel like getting a deluxe edition, you get that. Hundred whatever it is, yeah, one hundred dollars, and you don't get no more money yeah. from me for the rest of the year until the, the, the next game come out. Exactly, yep. I'm the same I'm, way. I'm not give. I've not touched WWE 2Ks or whatever my faction mode. I haven't even opened it. I, only time I opened it was by mistake, and I immediately clicked off. <laughs> yeah, they were trying too. to give me a pack, me and I was like, no yeah. 2K. I don't want no packs. Okay? I don't want no don't packs. packs. Don't give me none of them. None no, of them. No, no. I, so I am not Ultimate Team guy at all. I don't. I, my my thing is with with Ultimate Team. If you want to have like a souped up roster of players, mm -hmm. go into apprentice mode and edit your guys be nine nine overall and do it that way. You and don't need you don't need to spend money to get now. Sure, you're not gonna get you know Barry Sanders and Ray Lewis and you know whoever, but I don't think you need to do that to be but in that game what, mode to get the kind of experience. But personally. that's where custom rosters come in. If I want Barry Sanders, yeah, I, right. I, I, yeah. I, I go find somebody that made the Barry Sanders whenever, whenever he played for the Lions. Right, exactly. They, yeah. they, they have a Barry Sanders in there as a call. Or, yeah. or whatever, as we call it in the 2K series. Yeah. Why, why would I pay my hard-earned money in this economy, by the way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, we, don't, we don't talk about IR, a lot of IRL stuff, politics stuff. In this economy, but we talk about money here. In this economy, why would I give them extra money that, I, that, I, that I'm trying to make myself right Why? now? Make sense right. right now? Are you, are no. you serious? <laughs> no, absolutely no, not. No, sir. No, sir. You, you, the, these deluxe and ultimate editions are enough. $150, $200. Yeah. It, but then it would college football, $25. Three day early access. People paid 2.2 million people pay $100. I was one of them. <laughs> day I was early. one of them. Now, 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 be fair to myself. I did only look, I'm a content creator, I'm gonna get it early, I'm gonna See, get a head start on things. So that whenever, like, whenever I yeah. get the WWE 2K game, yep. I'd be like, uh -huh. okay, hey, look, I'm a content creator because I know yep. people are like, oh my god, you're just giving them money so they could they could keep doing that. And I'm like, well, look, okay, it's a business, okay. This is mm -hmm. my business, all right? right. So I'm investing in myself, so I'm paying $99.99 <laughs> so I can get the game early so I can start yeah. getting things out to my audience. Hopefully to catch to catch a good thing, maybe like do a midnight release stream. I, I used to do those back then when I when I was younger. Um, <laughs> used to do those midnight release streams and play the game the, the day the day the day one or the week of, mm -hmm. you know, so we can get the get, get the new crop of fans. Drunk. Because every right. year, if you're you you're a universal more content creator, you know how it is. Every year you get a whole new crop of fans that buy yep. that game. They mm -hmm. won't check out gameplay and you and they, they won't check out universe mode content. So you gotta right. get the game early, unfortunately. Yeah. But that's right. just how the way the world yeah. works with content creators. Yep. Now, I'm not one of those people that say, oh, you should get the deluxe edition. And yeah, and if you don't get the deluxe edition, then, you, then you're worthless. Because some people be like, let <laughs> me be chilling so bad. They be like, oh, you got to get the deluxe edition because the, that standard edition ain't nothing. Let me tell you something. I bought a standard edition to college football 25. And, and in my three days, like I said, I'm only a dynasty player. I wasn't mm -hmm. missing out. So I said, okay, what am I getting? So I, I get to put the game three days early. Okay, you, you played through this early. Okay, so you're right. a content creator, so you make stuff on that game. Yep. See, I looked at both of my channels, okay? Majority of my content is not from football. I talk about football on podcasts, you know, where I talk about football with people uh, on their channels when I get interviewed or yep. um, or, or, or on my second channel. So my main mm -hmm. channel does not have any football on it. I used, I used to play the football games back then, but I just don't have time to do that. I don't have time to invest in that yeah. as, of, as of this moment. I'm a college student. So I'm looking at that. I'm looking at this business wise. Why would I spend an extra $25, 30 on this game to get it to get it early? 
when I'm only going to be playing offline dynasty for the first three months of the game. And I, I'm, I'm not yeah. going to play on YouTube until like October, November. Right. So yeah, I, that's so intense. Th- yeah, I get th- that. This is why it don't make sense for me to get mm-hmm. the game through this. I'm not missing out because, okay, I got my little Penn State dynasty. I'm, it's still going strong. I'm almost done. <laughs> and, and I ain't missed nothing in the game, but not a week now. Okay. Well, as yep. it was recorded, not a week. You know, so I ain't missing nothing. So, like, business wise, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, but I didn't shun nobody. I didn't right. shun those 2.2 million people that, that bought the $100 early access because yeah, exactly. you got to do what you got to do for your individual channel. Some of y'all stream on Twitch. Some of y'all stream on YouTube, but you do content like like simulation dynasty content on YouTube. Right. So you got to do, do what you got to do. You got to invest in yourself because yep. it, I call it an investment. And some people might not like it, but it is what it is. You got to make your money somehow. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, but back to the thing is, um, let me know how Madden 25 is. Uh, because if Madden 25 is a game that good simulation because you, you know i'm a simulation player i don't play online i don't do all that that, that, yeah. that, 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 that extra stuff i don't got time for that <laughs> so if it's a good simulation game let me know man because yeah. i will potentially pick it up for black friday or christmas i know some people be like oh can you go with black friday i'm saying nah, something you, you, black look, friday, you that's gotta time. Get, get that's the sales, time bro. get the sales okay exactly. I, mean, I, I i i don't like i don't care man for an annual sports game that I don't play, that I don't play on my YouTube channel, and I ain't making bucks from. I'm not paying the full price. Okay, I'm gonna that's get that thing on sale. It. Yeah, play exactly. Casual, you know. Yep. Yeah. If you're yeah. not making content on on a game or whatever, or if you're just a regular person, and if you want to get a sports game, the best time to do it is on Black Friday because they're on sale for a reason. Go and get yeah, them. Yeah, they're doing they're on sale for those people that be like, oh, okay. Okay, we right. got a new NBA 2K. I'm like, okay, I'm not spending 70 on that. We'll yeah, like, oh, it's 30% off here. Okay, <laughs> all right. Now right. I'm interested. You see, exactly. they, they catch those people. Yeah. Because I, I I always say with sports games, especially the annual ones, um, and, and if it's not like a quality, like okay, now GTA 6, I'm not gonna do that with GTA 6. I'm I'm buying GTA 6, I'm pre-ordering GTA 6. As soon as, right. as, soon as I pre-order, it says pre-order now, I'm going on the web, I'm going on the PS. <laughs> That's different, okay. Yeah, That's right. the game I've been waiting over a decade for. I was, I was still in, I was still in grade school when GTA Five came out, and now I'm, Damn. I'm almost graduated college, and GTA Six is just releasing, just for context of how old <laughs> I am. Um, so, like games like that, of course, I'm going to buy for a price. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm not saying if you don't want to buy a game for a price, then you don't have to. Absolutely. It's your money. I'm not, I, I'm not in your household. I'm not yeah. spending your money. I don't know who, I don't know exactly. how much you get the money. That ain't my business. I know how much I get. Okay. I know how much coming in my household. Okay. Right. I know my budget and people have different budgets that people have different tastes on how they spend their money. I'd never tell somebody how to spend their money unless you are a, you are like I'm dating you, then okay. I'd be like, and we're and we're <laughs> it's a different story. finances, then okay, then I definitely I'm gonna have an opinion on how the money is spent. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I'm just, you're a regular, you my little friend or whatever, you're a regular person on the street. I don't care how you spend your money. That, yeah, that's your wallet. We it's don't your care. money. You <laughs> earned that money. Have exactly. you did it? I don't cause I don't give you a business now. So, <laughs> doing nefarious things, trying to get their money, but that's 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 on them. Have you how got you? your dollar bills? You know, right, you do exactly. you, hey, you, do your you, money, man. you do you, bro. You spend your money however the way you go. And I, I'm so glad you have the same mindset I have when it comes to these sports games because not a lot of people are not like us. They go that high, high road and they just they, they, they stay on their opinion. They don't look at, you know, second opinions or third opinions because yeah. you, you, you really got to think whenever you get these games that, you know, everybody got different tastes on, of what they like. And I right. honestly, I used to, I'm going to tell you the story real quick. Yeah. Um, and in and, and the fall semester, I made my first ever video game. Okay. I okay, did game nice. development for like, for like six months. Okay. And, and I made a Pac-Man game. I made a, a Call of duty S game. I made a, a football type game too. When I tell you the pain of coding that, the I can't pain imagine. of getting the mechanics right. The pain of getting the animations. Oh I, had to, I had That's to call. Wild. I had to call the animator to help me. For one of them, <laughs> one part I got stuck on because I, I couldn't do it. I'm like, bro, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. I, I couldn't do it. I was like, okay. Now I see the pain of what these game developers go. Now imagine doing that. I did that for for uh, one semester. So that's like 
like four months. Imagine doing that as your as your job full time every single day. I I couldn't. I, yeah. Yeah. Because I, you, 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 then you're pleasing the audience. Okay. So now now you have to you have to make this for an audience. So I see the pain that EA goes through making college football or Madden or how how or what two K goes through with NBA two K or what yeah. WWE two K goes through. I have the lens of a game developer, so right. my perspective when people complain about certain things is different because I am in their shoes. I yeah. see why EA reuses assets now. Who wants to rebuild that in in, in, in nine months? You have they have nine months to make yeah the next ten to nine months yeah. Yeah, who, it, who, because, who the yeah, hell wants to rebuild the Patriot Stadium? But but no, no that, that takes three months to rebuild right. that thing to get yeah. it working again. Who wants to yeah. do that? Not I. Hell yeah, I'm reusing assets. I sure the hell <laughs> did. Okay, yeah. I see why they do it. Who wants to? Who wants to keep remaking uh the, the John Cena model again, over and over and over again? Right. Every every single game is talking, and and, and and we're not moving engines in front of WWE 2K dev team. Hell no, I'm gonna use John Cena's WWE 2K23 model, and I'm gonna have him come in and do his face scan again, and we're gonna we're gonna plast that thing on the model. Yep, okay, and that's it, right. And we're gonna move on with our life. I'm not work smarter, not harder time right? for that. Yeah, to be doing that. So 100%. I see, I see the, the behind the scenes of a game dev, why they do what they do. What I see why GTA 6 is taking 10 years to make. I see why these single player games, which we're gonna talk about what you do on your Twitch channel, they, yeah. they're so detailed and they take years, five, six, seven years to come out. Because just in those four months was hell. So I can imagine. <laughs> I see why yeah. they see why them these game devs be so tired. Yeah, exactly. And and, 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 out, real, and real quick on that too, because you know, I'm again I'm very much similar to you. i I don't I have no experience making games at all. Uh, but I one thing I think I one thing that I think I'm really good at is having empathy for people. So mm-hmm. even though I don't know what goes into it, you know, I can I, I I'm I'm I have enough of of knowledge from just you know uh following the game the industry my whole life pretty much uh to kind of have an idea of what goes into these things and seeing what goes into the process is like it, it, it puts it in perspective it puts it into per- per- yeah perspective like you say, said it puts it into perspective yes yes exactly yeah and you know it's 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 just people are so hard on things that they have no idea about you know and that's what upsets me a little bit at times when we talk about you know uh for example uh, with College Football 25 just came out, you know, there's talks about, you know, things being wrong in the game already, which, like, okay, that makes sense. It's fine. That's yeah, going to happen. Cause, but, yeah, but, cause, cause but, no, no game's perfect. Okay. Right, right. No game's perfect, exactly. But, you know, it needs to be fixed now. It needs to be fixed. When are they going to fix XYZ? Like, guys, the game just came out uh, a couple of days ago, whenever it was, you know, just came out. Give the people some time to, you know, take stock of things and get things together Patches need to be approved by these companies before they, you know, go before they hit our consoles. Uh, they need the b- bug testing in particular. One, that's one thing you hear about all the time. They didn't QA test this. Are you sure? Because you know, it's one thing to test in a studio of two hundred people, and you might have, you know, twenty on QA or whatever. You know what I mean? But it's totally different when you had that game out to millions of people that are playing the game. They're gonna find way more things than you did in your time testing because everyone's gonna be trying to do different things to break the game or or just playing it in general. So putting that having that perspective is just something that's like, man, it's hard. And I I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I, I hear you. I hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And and when, when and when you have that perspective, you see, you get a little bit like more grateful that this product is even being made because mm-hmm. People have no exactly. idea just the like with coding. Not, not, not everybody knows how to code. I know how to code. Um, I, I know how to code in different languages. Right, that I is don't. very hard everybody to do. <laughs> okay. Not everybody knows how to do that. And no, not everybody has the patience of going through QA testing with coding. And video games are made from code. These are mm-hmm. the, these are made from computer programmers. These are not just people that just write a script and say, All right, we're gonna make the ball do this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Or, all right. Oh, okay. LeBron going to jump in the air. Okay. That, that, that has to be coded in LeBron James jumps up, hits a three pointer. 
Then he turns around and smiles. That's coded in by someone. That's coded in the language called C++. You, 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 make, you make that code. Then after that code is made, an animator takes that code, takes that command, and animates LeBron James jumping mm -hmm. in the air, making that three-pointer. He turns around, and then he smiles. Then someone comes in and motion captures that. Yep. It's a process. Yep. It's a whole process. It is That's a whole just, process. No, 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 keep in mind. That's just for LeBron James hitting a three yeah. and walking away. Now, imagine doing that for every single NBA team. Think about it for the Madden, for the Madden team. Imagine doing that yep. for every single Madden NFL team. Imagine doing that for every single M like uh, college football team, 134-plus yep. schools 134 in that teams, game. Yep. You got to do all their intros. You got to do all their traditions. Put all their chants in there. All mm -hmm. the uh, all, all their celebrations and all their uh, trophies and and et cetera. Yeah, that's that a stuff. lot. Yeah, exactly. It's insane. That is a lot. And that and that, that that that's a dev team of thousands of people doing that every single day because 200, 300 people doing that. that and there are people that are doing that, right, by the way, that 200, 300 people are making video games every single day. That's a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. That it, 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 it is a lot of work, a lot of pain, a lot of grueling hours, and that's why I like. I really want to get like a game dev on here. I, I really want to see if I can interview a game dev one day, or that possibly cool. talk Absolutely. to them. Yeah, because I want to. I want them to. I want them to tell the stories. Right. Because I only have four months of game dev. Okay. I don't. I don't have that many stories. I didn't have a game come out and then have having to fix bugs. Okay. And let me tell y'all something. They do have quality assurance testers. A QA, yeah, a QA is someone that sits down and finds bugs. Their yeah. job is to play a game until they find their bugs. And then they have to report that to the, the devs. And then the devs fix that. And then they, then they patch the game before it even comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they're paid very good for that, by the way, for their jobs, because they have to they have to have discipline to sit there for one and play a game. And right. they have the difficulty to sit there and have patience to get, to bug it out. OK. Mm -hmm. And then they, then they have to write paperwork to report that to the, the, the dev team. Then the dev team has to fix that and get that approved by management. It's a yep. process. Yeah. That's why games take five years to make these days. It's not because that. Oh, oh, you know. Game developers They're lazy, are lazy or whatever. Yeah, oh. I hate that. I hate oh. that so much. Or game devs are woke. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, that, yeah. That one to someone else. <laughs> uh, I'm like, come on, man. No, it's not because of that. It's because of the time and effort that goes into these video games that it's, it's these things are not made overnight. Yeah. Um, okay. if, the, if the casual person had any idea about any of this stuff uh, to, to the, the, the degree that you do, or someone who's it was more in the know, like, like me, or any of us who were here, you know, what, what, listen, listen, listen to the show, you know, they they, they have, I think they have a, a better appreciation of it. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, but you know, little Tommy only cares about if uh, LeBron James running up and down the court making a three pointer. He don't care about uh, the game dev that made that. You know, so yes, yeah. just it just is what it is. Even people in their fifties don't care about this stuff, uh, and they and they still complain about these games. But yeah, you know, but. Everybody's not going to be in the know. Everybody's, like I said, not everybody's a programmer. I'm glad mm -hmm. because it makes, <laughs> it makes me get it makes makes my job more valuable. Yeah. Uh, not everybody's nobody. Not everybody knows how to how a computer works. Not everybody knows how these games work. So that's just how the world works. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, and if they want to be taught, they be taught. If they don't, then that's on them. But I yeah. want to talk about where with you. Um, yeah. So. When did you make that switch to say, okay, hey, I want to be a YouTuber? What got you into YouTube? Like, how like how did you get started? So, it was uh, for I think for uh, for uh, it was around COVID COVID time. Um, I think like most people during that period of time, people were kind of rediscovering things and or trying new things, that kind of thing. Uh, mine goes the YouTube stuff really started back during COVID. But it all, it all started way back even before then, really. Uh, back around 2014, 2015, I was mm -hmm. graduating the I was graduating from the broadcast broad, a, a broadcast school that I went to, uh, Broadcasting Institute of Maryland. Um, and oh, so I was you're in Maryland. Yes, yes. Um, oh, you, oh, you, you up there? I, I'm 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 down here in the south sweating. You 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 probably <laughs> barely got heat down up there. Oh, it's, it's it's been hot up here, man. The last few days. 
100 degree up here. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all get 100 degree days? Yeah. Oh, yep. welcome. Yep. Welcome to my yep. life. I tell yep. you, I welcome to my life. Yep. <laughs> Y'all feel, feel it for like three months though, but it, it, then it goes away for the rest of the year. Mine yeah, don't go away it, till November. It, yeah. <sighs> So, so yeah, it was around 2014. Uh, I was I graduated from broadcast to Maryland. Um, I uh, I I'm I am a commentator for sports, so I do you know baseball commentary for community college in my area. Um, I'm actually a part of a growing uh, business called SimWorlds, called uh, SimWorld Sports, where we we're we're starting with basketball, but we're developing a a um virtual interactive world where people can live out their sports dreams going from 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 prep to pro and we do that through you know uh having a media presence basically so we're covering wow. games like we're covering games doing interviews for players and coaches and all that kind of stuff uh, it's That's really amazing. really cool yeah really really cool uh but but um so uh i'm sorry i lost lost, lost my train of thought <laughs> um Good job, brother. i started with broadcasting uh way back when and at the, when i finished i was like well i want to try to continue to work on my owner personality and the best way for me to do that at the time was to go into doing uh twi twitch streaming so i decided to do a lot of that i did that for a couple of years primarily and then covid hit and my hours of my job at the time got cut back significantly and i and i had an editor at that point who, who i started doing youtube a few years into my Twitch uh, Twitch career. Um, and then once COVID hit, like I said, uh, I was got cut back and stuff. And I said, well, I had to make a choice here. Do I, I need to learn either A, learn how to edit videos or B, stop doing YouTube and focus on focus back on Twitch primarily. So my editor at the time was uh, Hug a, 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 my friend, my friend Huggable Hipster. She said, hey, uh, I believe in you. You can edit. You can, you know, figure, you can figure out how to do it. I believe in you. So, hey, that was enough for me to go, all right, let me give this a shot. So I got DaVinci Resolve, learned how to edit, and I've been editing my own stuff uh, since, I want to say it was maybe 20, uh, 2021, 2022, maybe? I can't remember. It's been a while. But uh, it started with broadcasting school, then it went into Twitch, and then it kind of more from there. So, still doing all the things I was doing previously, just adding the YouTube and Twitch on top of it. Yeah, so, 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 um, your main thing, your your main job is broadcasting. So that's what you do weekly for your for work. So, no, not for that, and for not right now for work. The the goal is to get there for work eventually, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, but right now, I uh, I'm actually in the. Uh, uh, AI space helping to uh, train chatbots, that kind of thing. Oh wow! Yeah. I didn't know that you can use a broadcasting uh, degree for that. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have well, done the tech side a little bit. Yeah, I, I have. I have a variety of skill sets, really. So, broadcasting is just just one of them. Uh, that's that. That's like the main skill set that makes sense. But I have some other ones that I do. Kind oh, of, so so know, so you the... went to school for broadcasting? Yes, yes. Went to school for broadcasting, but, and I and but I kind you of learned through college because college college makes you well rounded, though. They say yeah. so. Mm -hmm. You're actually using that well rounded thing. So colleges yes. are like, yeah, we we got them. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> he, he actually it's the it mode works. that we that, that we're trying to train. You know, because he 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 do chat boxes and he, and he was a broadcasting So you. So now y'all see that why why we make y'all take them hard math classes. <laughs> still yeah. But yeah. I digress. Um, that's kind of cool though. I I I like that. I think that Thank you. you know I really believe in you. I know someone that also wants to commentate and be a commentator for, for a future. That's their dream job. I know people who like that in the uh, uh, YouTube landscape and pro wrestling landscape. Um, I just tell y'all, man, just keep working. Get, get like get your name out there. I for me, it's like. You know, like, like we talked about earlier, it's an investment. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, um, it is absolutely. If you, if you want to wrestle, I know Dylan was thinking about that. He talked to me about potentially like actually doing actual pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to be a commentator like Michael Cole, you won't be like Michael Cole, be on WWE TV uh, every week or be on AEW TV, Impact TV, wherever you want to be. Um, you got to put your name out there, and you know, a, a good way to train and do that, YouTube. Yeah, you, you exactly. took the perfect way exactly and that was, and that, was, that, was that was one of the reasons why like, i got into it too 
was to just continue to get more comfortable doing commentary for various different sports, whatever it might be. I I, I was strategic with it. Strategic. I said, see, yeah, yeah. See, I was gonna ask you, I, I was gonna ask you why you got that sports thing and you got a variety of content. Now it makes sense because I always get the context. Um, because you want to be you want to be a commentator, you, you want to commentate yep. something and, and do that as a full-time job. I really believe in you, it's never too late. Um, Thank you. anything that you put your mind to and with, and if you believe in your dreams, you can make your dreams come true. I tell people that all the time. You can do yeah. whatever you want to do in life, no matter the age. Um, yeah, exactly. just, it just takes hard right work, dedication, yep, you know, yep. and you, you gotta you gotta just keep that why in the back of your head every day you wake exactly. up. Um, exactly. why am I doing this? What, what what am I doing this for? You know, um, and if you have that mindset with everything, trust me, man, you could definitely make it. I, I wouldn't be surprised in the next three, four years. I'm not even going to say that. I'm a, I, I, I'm a, it's in my spirit to say in the next two years, you, you're going to be somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be seeing you somewhere and be like, okay, I remember, I know that guy. I, <laughs> I, I interviewed him two years ago. You're going to be, you're going to be on a major wrestling promotion. I, I really believe that. I, 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 I feel like world. you got the, you. the dedication, you got you got the hard work, you got the charisma, you got the attitude. You're yeah. going to you're going into it. You you're going into it in a great way. And thank you. And and, and I, I want to cut you off. I'm sorry. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. You, it's your interview. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> yeah. trying to hype you up. You know. I'm, yeah. No, I, I appreciate. It. I do. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's one of those things too that that uh, really kind of sticks out with me is because you know. Uh, I, I I am I am a I'm not up there in age, but I'm definitely I'm closer to forty than I am than I am to uh, you know twenty five. Um, so mm. uh, I I I think that I'm really glad I got into YouTube and Twitch and broadcasting as when I did, because if I had gotten into it when I was 19, 18 years old, it had probably been a totally different mindset. And I think that the key to anything creative, especially, is to have the right mindset going into it. Yes. If you go, if you go into anything creatively, especially with the thought of I'm gonna blow up overnight or it's gonna, you know, happen fairly quickly, that kind of thing, that's the wrong way to go about it, in my opinion. You have to go into it with with the thought process, with the process of my with the mindset of this is gonna be a process. This is gonna take time. I have to put time, effort, and energy into this, or else one hey, second hey, going anywhere. Hold on, I don't want me to cut you off. Yeah, no, no. You listen to this, Dino man. You listen to this, Malik <laughs> James. Hey, y'all listening? He, 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 he telling y'all, y'all won't blow up overnight. You will hey, not. You will hey, not. It, 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 you, you got to upload consistent. You got to be consistent. You got to be persistent. Yeah. I've been trying to tell them young cats that though. Every time, yeah. they, every time, be like. Oh man, I, I your universe mode. I don't know, man. I, I want to get like 50 views, 60 views a video. Let me tell you something, bro. Every every video you put out won't be a hit. That's it. That's it. Everyone you put out will not be a hit. Even Murph's YT13, one of the best creators in, in, in this space, he fell off. He fell off one month. Mm -hmm. Murph didn't get Murph didn't get that 10,000 views in that in that one video. He got two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But but did Merce go cry in the corner? But did Merce go be like, oh, man, I can't do this no more. I didn't hit that 10,000 like I did the last three weeks in a row. Oh, what's going to happen to my channel? What, how I'm going to do this? I'm going to do that. Nope. Well, Merce did. He, he made an even better video the next time and got and got 50,000 views the next video. Yeah. We're taking the church out here. Look, taking look, the church look, out look, here. Look, 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 look. look. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be preaching to y'all because everybody say I, I I have that preacher preacher uh, voice, but I, I don't I won't get that. But I got a little excited when I said that. I understand. Look, you know, I'm, I'm saying it to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start jumping up here, but I don't do that. <laughs> I, look, 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 the spirit gonna take over at that point. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but I, but, I'm but, saying it to say, man. Like like you said, it's a yeah, process. It, it is. It, I, I, I seen this tweet and, and I and I saved it and, and I, I told myself I was gonna print this tweet up and put it on put it on my wall. Uh somebody said it only takes one, one video, one relationship, one opportunity, mm -hmm. one job, one just you know, anything. You get one chance, you know. Yep, and then you can blow up from there. 
Yeah, Just exactly, more. exactly. And and I think that uh, you'd rather you you you'd rather be ready for the blow up than you know be unprepared for it. Now I don't think you can ever be truly quote unquote ready for it, but I think you can put yourself put yourself in a position to where you can handle it better. And that comes again over time, putting the work in, going through the process of making those videos, you know, making make making that game, whatever it might be, you know, getting ready for that that chance that you that you have presented to you. I've been on YouTube for four years, four years now, and I'm ju- I just hit 300 subscribers mm-hmm. uh, a couple of days ago, and that was a personal milestone that I wanted to hit for a while because I was so close to it. Now I hit it. Next goal is 500. Then to get the watch time, so you can get the, into the part one of that, you know, partner program for YouTube and all of that. So, I, th- it takes time, man, you, and you got to be okay with that. If you're not, might not be for you. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's okay. Yeah. And that's okay. And that's okay. And let me and let me tell you a personal story, okay? I started this in 2016, um, May of 2016. I just hit my was how many years that is that eight eight years because uh, we're in 24 yeah 19, 19, 20, so 19, 20, yeah, yeah 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 eight years yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know I, I had a whole year i had a whole anniversary and i video <laughs> came on and i forgot anyway um i've been doing this for eight years and i didn't get my first 1k until we, we got got to the 2020 and i think i think the only reason why i still i got that 1k is because i you know the pandemic happened and i was able to mm-hmm. just utilize that everybody being at home yeah, and I was able to blow up from there. Yeah, and uh, and, and I used that to my advantage. Like I hit 1K and I hit 2K, uh, back in 2020. Um, I think it was 2022, 2020, around 2022, 2023. I hit I hit 2,000 subscribers, and we're almost we're almost halfway to uh 3,000. Nice. But but you know, at first I'm like I was I was the same way like with like I was Dino Man and Malik the ones I was yeah. making jokes. About. I was the same way as them. I'm like man, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I was there too. Because I wasn't getting the results that I wanted to get, but some told me just persevere and just keep doing your thing. And you know, yeah. though, and that's what I tell you, new creators is do your thing, do your thing, be your own person, get there at your mm-hmm. own pace. Because yeah. I have great faith. Okay, so I have faith that I'm going to get there when it's my time to get there. Where that be, where I want to be at, at as as a job, where that be that where that be personally, professionally. I have that faith that yeah. when it's the right time, things are going to happen right then and there. Okay. So maybe it wasn't my time to hit 1K whenever I was like 17 or, you know, well, 16 or 15 years old. Maybe I had to wait till I was 20 years old to hit 1K. Right. Maybe I had to wait till I was uh, 21 years old or, uh, tw- uh, you know, not, uh, 22, 23 years old to hit 3K, you know. Maybe the plan that I had written on in my little personal life book wasn't the Laura's plan or where he wanted me to be at Mm -hmm. on here and on this platform. Because I always say I do everything with a purpose. Everything that you see here is with a purpose. Everything that you see marketed, everything that you see uploaded, everything people I interview, it's a purpose behind everything I do. Yeah, And you know this when when we talked behind the scenes before this Mm -hmm. podcast came on. Um, It's a purpose. And your podcast is going to teach people about, you know, staying the course. Yes. Because exactly. how, how we talked about with the game development and I was talking about with you, when where you want to be at in life, you're staying the course and that's how you're going to get blessed yeah, because exactly. you're not giving up. You're going at your own pace. That's everything that a lot of young people need to know and especially your at your age knowing that now yeah. and not when you're never you're like i'm not i'm not gonna tell you age now <laughs> you're never like 50 or nothing right so, yeah right i'm not that old thing he ain't that old now y'all right. he ain't that old but uh that, that's a great leave your guests in the comments below how about that <laughs> yeah i i want i want to know because Y'all want to know how old he thought I was, and I and I know some of some of my YouTube friends gonna laugh at this one. <laughs> you can you can tell him it's okay. You can tell him uh, you can tell him. Y'all, he thought that I was the I was late twenties, early thirties. <laughs> y'all, I have no reasons for that, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. I sure did, man. I'm not gonna lie. I sure did. Yeah, expert. He thought that he thought that I was thirty. Sure did. That's crazy. I think Esper gonna use that uh, use that against me because he he always called me an old man. He, <laughs> he, he, he keeps saying, "Oh, Cole, you're like 59." I'm like, "Bro, stop." 
They play oh, too much man. about my, they'll be calling me onk and stuff. I'm like, I was I, getting I, ready to say I'm apparently in I'm apparently in my in my unk era too, man. So I, I know how you feel. <laughs> hey, you 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 in onk status too? Uh, apparently I am, yes. <laughs> oh, so, so so I'm not the only one that's in onk status. No, nah, nope, nope. I'm definitely oh, okay, okay. Nah. I, 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 I thought that I was the only one that was nope. <laughs> onk. Okay, because because apparently according to my age, this is onk. That's I crazy. didn't know. I, I didn't know early twenties was onk. So 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 what is uh thirties and forties uh, or or, right, or is grandpa? As, uh, <laughs> fossil man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These young people, man, they, 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 this they funny, this right? generation be making up rules that I yeah. I, I gotta keep up. I feel yeah. like I, I, I feel like a nineties baby with some of the rules that we have. They'd be like, be like y'all be saying this stuff. Like who who be saying? I, who say what? <laughs> say what? I don't be saying that stuff like that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I be, I, I be um, having to play catch up sometimes, but I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. Oh man, I, I've been around, so it's one of those things of like you hear things and it just it all it all comes full circle in a way. Oh uh, yeah, man. No, those definitely. The uh the the today today's skibbity toilet was was my was my era's uh bread bank and soup store. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For I, example. I already know you grew up with people uh the 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 house like had the well the street light had the can came on, you had to be in the house. That's uh it. Them, that's them, it, yeah. The the dumb folk don't know nothing about that these days, no. boy. These, these trying to even play outside no more. Some of them don't. I yeah. barely see up. Uh, I'm in my neighborhood, bro. I can't make this up. I see. I, I seen two, three girls outside playing outside, and I, I ain't. Mm. Er, er, everybody else in the house. AC, they don't. They, 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 they don't. Hey, get outside and play, man. <laughs> I, right. hey, hey, I don't blame them. Though. It, 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 this heat it's different. Hot. Okay, it, well, right. It's we, hot. What I grew up in specifically, I know for sure you. This mm -hmm. heat is different. It feels like it. It really does. Hundred percent hot, bro. Man. It does. But global is not real. <laughs> yeah, man, man, I, I, we really do. But uh, yeah, we were getting very off topic. But we that's are. We are. <laughs> but look, that's how you know it's good, right? That's how you know it's good. The conversation yeah, is flowing. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah, look, look. Let me tell you something, man. The best podcasts are the most relatable ones, man. Yep. Exactly. I, 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 I'm telling you, man. Like, I, 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 I don't want to keep it going because we, we could have a whole little tangent about how how your <laughs> era was, man. You had the good era of music. That, yeah. that 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 loving that music where you get the chocolates and for Valentine's Day y'all uh -huh. y'all come back and uh eat chocolate and watch the movies afterwards. Yeah. That was that, 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 that was that music back then. Why you can't do that now? They be like, Stop. right? Exactly. They do that with that. They, they, they used to be younger you these days. Right. They, 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 oh, they yeah, be making up some little ca catchy fling. You yeah. Know? I, I be like, what? <laughs> 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 what else you got for me, man? What else you got? I, I'm I, I, I'm interested. What else you got? Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. which so, so I know you said you started YouTube. Uh, I mean, you, you had a personal editor. Do you, do you still have that editor, or you're or you are your own editor? Um, I am my own editor now. Uh, I I had gotten an, I had I had gotten another editor a few months ago, but we had to mutually part ways because he was going he was going back to school, then had was worried when I have enough time and all that stuff. So I said, no, it's fine. No worries, man. I got it. I'll, I'll pick back up when, when I can. Uh, so I'm back to editing my own stuff now. Editing is a very time consuming process, as I've learned over the course of my years doing YouTube. Uh, but it's very rewarding at the same time to kind of see your vision come to light, even just trying to experiment with new things in the editing process through every video or whatever it is so while while it is a a time consuming process it is very fun and rewarding uh, for me but eventually I would like to get to the point where i don't have to edit anymore but for right now i will definitely just do it and you know continue to uh pick up things and try different things when i can and all that stuff man but i really enjoy it okay yeah yeah absolutely um i would say like you know, you going about it the right way. Absolutely, teach yourself how to edit. Um, I really wish I could hire more editors myself, so I don't have to do all this work. But um, it 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 is worth it. You know, like with universe mode content. Now, I know everybody makes universe mode differently. I, I want to touch on that real quick. When yeah, of you course, talk yeah. about adding. So, yeah. my fans have we have a certain style. We call it the CTP style here uh, on on this channel, where it's more. Well, we use a little bit of that little. I don't use that much highlight reel from time to time, but I, I use a little bit, a little bit of mm -hmm. highlight reel in our matches, a little bit more adding base, um, 
customized music, some sometimes customized graphics, depending on who's producing the show. And what they do with a different set of producers, so you get a difference, a different flavor for each matchup uh, mm-hmm. on each show because we have multiple producers per show sometimes. Um, wow. awesome. Yes. <laughs> no, that's why this, that's why it takes so long. You'd be like, you you'd be like, man, you still working on WrestleMania? I remember, I remember Crater asked me, are you still working on WrestleMania? I said, yeah, it's been eleven months, bro. Like, that's why <laughs> that's why it took eleven months because it's a different set of producers every time, sometimes too. And we have yeah. sometimes have special guest commentators too. So describe to my fans if they were brand new, never. Most of these people never don't, don't know you, so um, right, yeah. <laughs> describe to them your style of universe mode. Like, my style of universe mode. That I don't know what I'm talking about universe mode, and I want to know how you do it. Sure. So my universe mode, I I do try to mimic what you see on TV, uh, uh, broadcasting presentation wise, because that's kind of my again my area of expertise is more broadcast style commentary. So I try to emulate a lot of that in my uh, in my uh, in my universe mode stuff. Um, a lot of people use AI voices for their promos, for example. I have a voice actress who does all of my voice, all of my promos and backstage segments for my my various characters that kind of on the show. Uh, my show wow. is a primarily, it, it, it actually is, it's a all women style universe. Uh, Sensational, Sensational Women's Wrestling is the name of the show itself. Um, and it, you know, features a lot of WWE women on the roster. Um and yeah, it, it's just it, it's it's very 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 much a broadcast style of uh, presentation. I do use highlight reel, uh, but I try to save it for the for you know certain moments in the show, for you know uh, back back segments, you know promos, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I save the in match highlight reel stuff for pay per views. That way, it makes those shows feel more special. So we're not doing it every for every main show, if that makes sense. We're saving it for the for the, for the special shows, the pay per views. Uh, with two, with with Suki twenty four, that might change a little bit because we can kind of move the camera around freely. All my matches are AI versus AI. I don't play I don't play them at all. Uh, I kind of let I one of the one of the one of the things that I like about wrestling in particular is that like yes yes it's it's scripted entertainment, but in my opinion it's also a sport too. And the thing about sports is that sports are unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. So when I when I I have ideas for what I would like to happen in my head for stories and things like that. But if they don't, if it doesn't happen the way, that's fine. Because as a prime example, I'll give you give a good example here. Um, and I'm gonna spoil a little bit of my previous shows, but it's fine for the sake of the example, I'll do it. <laughs> Go ahead. So Go ahead. so um I had I I have uh I was trying to push Roxanne Perez as a new person on on, on the show because she debuted with 2K23, uh, which was when I first started doing Universal was with, la- with la- last year's game. Roxanne, I, lo- I love Roxanne Perez. So so I had her debut against Tamina, right? Thinking Tamina, thinking Tamina's gonna lose, it'll be fine. Tamina won the match, y'all. She won the match, and I'm like, okay, great. Now I have to plan around this. So. Tamina kept winning, <laughs> and she's supposed to be for all for all purposes a jobber in my universe mode. She got the winning, so now I'm like, all right, now I have to figure out how I can, you know, get this to. I can still involve Roxanne into things. So I had Roxanne attack her, or I'm sorry, I had her cost Tamina the match that she was that she was in against Lena Vega, which is which was one of my qualifying spots, my the last qualifying spot for my uh, women's intercontinental championship ladder match at Backlash. Um, Tamina ended up losing because Roxanne cost her the match. T- Roxanne gets her rematch because Tamina attacked her after the match. Tamina wins the match at Backlash anyway. So <laughs> I tried so hard to give Roxanne a push to get her going, and Tamina was not having it. She was not having it, but you know why? Because no one is meaner than Tamina. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so you just try to like. Do it like let the CPU decide. Yes, so like, absolutely. Ha- have you ever thought about letting yourself decide some matches? So yes, I have. Uh, and it's funny you said that because this is actually a good a good kind of chance to roll the clock back a little bit here. Uh, because when I first started doing universe mode content, I wasn't doing it on YouTube. 
I was writing up universe mode stuff and I was posting it on a forum called Operation Sports. They had a section there called Dynasties where you could go and you could post stories and that kind of thing. So I would play, I would play 2K, you know, the, from like, I think my first 2K after t- wrestling game, after taking a long break from wrestling stuff was, it wasn't even called 2K then. It was, they were, cause they were still under, uh, Ukes. So I think it was 13, 12. yeah, I think it was 13 or 14. Yeah. One of those two. Um, so, so at that point in time, I was just writing, I was right. I was, you know, writing them up. I would go and I would watch, I would watch matches out. I'd write them up and I'd post my operation sports. Uh, one year I decided I want to have a little more control and I want to, you know, see if, I can see if I can do a little bit better. Uh, so I tried to actually control the matches, but I realized that I didn't like that because I didn't, I didn't like knowing what was going to happen, if that makes sense. Because, because again, for me, sports aren't predictable. Like, yes, wrestling itself is scripted, and we are all aware of this, but sports is unpredictable. So I like to treat my wrestling shows just like a sports event, too, in the way that you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen until I watch the matches and have it all play out that way. Um, so that was mostly why I... Got I, why I went away from not playing matches myself. Also, that and didn't, didn't have enough controllers at the time. I only had like one or two controllers, and I wasn't buying a lot of controllers. <laughs> so that was another reason for it too. Okay, interesting. I um, well, you know, I I really like with AI versus AI. Um, I typically like. I really wasn't like really like a good big fan of those, but like with your mm-hmm. context and why you're doing it, I probably will tune in now. Um, uh, because I feel like I like people to have more control over their shows. I like having like the shows to have direction when I watch my universe modes. Yeah. Um as as a personal preference. But yeah. mm-hmm. with that. your context, it makes sense because you're you're trying to do it like a broadcast. And yeah. you know. Yeah, that broadcaster yes. doesn't know what's going to happen. Right, exactly. Right. They, if I'm well, the commentator, they, well, right. From, so, from a know, commentator they perspective, have they have an idea, but they don't know like fully. Okay. Yeah. You know, such and such is going to win. You know, right. so exactly. I, I I get that. I I understand that. So yeah, uh, it it makes more sense why when I was. I clicked on the video and I was like, "Is he's not controlling nothing? What is going on?" So <laughs> yeah. I was a little also, confused. So I was like, Ugh. "Also, a big pet peeve of mine too." Because as as a viewer, because because I know what I like. As a viewer, I I prefer having a a a a, a, a uh, clean screen. So I don't like when I watch some when I watch Universal you know, content and I see a kick out meter or something like that. Uh, just because for me, it takes me out. It it breaks my immersion. <laughs> so okay, and, well, so, I, so for me, I well, well, see what 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 we normally use we used to do is we just edit out. Like I have yeah. no HUDs on, I don't have that crap mm-hmm. on now. Yeah, um, and sometimes I take the submission meter, I add it out, or I blur out the pin meter sometimes. Yeah, because that does break mm-hmm. my immersion sometimes too. Um, I I used to be very picky on that back then, but uh, as I as the the longer I've done this, I've stopped that because yeah, <laughs> that that makes you know, it takes takes longer to add a match. When you have to keep constantly kicking add out yep. all the kickouts. But yep. I see like I, like I really see what you're saying though, like with the with the uh the pin meter and stuff. Cause yeah, cause that's your style. So yeah, yeah. You know, and if and I'm, I always if I'm say like in a certain way, then this right. is how I want to come across to people. Yeah, yeah. So, and and I understand that everybody has their style of universe right. mode, exactly. and, every, and there's an there's an audience for everything that you do. So um I'm very curious on like with the backstory now, it makes sense why you're AI versus AI. Mm. Um I remember I used I remember I got into it once with someone um that did AI versus AI because a lot of his fans kept complaining about his content and he asked for feedback and I gave him feedback on it. And he said that he said that I was a loser and I was never going to be anything. Um, nice. His name is Brennan Place. I'll say his name because I don't, I don't like him. Um, <laughs> he was one of the biggest YouTubers uh, that, did, that did Universe more of the time. And he said that I was not going to be nothing. No one's going to watch me because of my style. Um, uh, he called me lazy too. Never called me lazy because wow. that really – puts the fire under my you know what oh, yeah um oh, yeah. so uh, i'm trying not to say words today but uh <laughs> I yeah so like i uh you use that as motivation to prove them wrong and i have been doing that for the last eight years um 
things, but you know, I'm not, not gonna like different guy, uh, right? uh, uh, huh? Not uh, not a BDE, D uh, different guy, right? Britain no, plays in BDE, two different people. I'm thinking, yeah, 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 yes, absolutely. Not BDE, not Brandon. Okay. everything. absolutely not. I like okay, that. Guy. Okay, He's okay, awesome. I got you. You never said you. to me. I I've never had a problem with Brandon does everything. Please do okay. not. Do, okay. Do no, not. no. 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 I was. I'm like. I'm thinking of the wrong person. But I, ha I had to clarify for myself. I was very confused. You're good. Yes. You're good. Brandon. Brandon, no Brandon plays. Smoke. Is, no is, smoke. Is, I don't know if he's British or white. Some white guy. I don't know. I don't know what he would. <laughs> we don't know what he is. He would. <laughs> he's a different guy that does universe mode, or he used to do it. I don't even know if he's retired or not from doing it. Um, I haven't looked at his channel in years. Um. I used to watch him because um, I was big into the, I was getting into the community and, but he got boring to me. So uh, I gave him some feedback and when, then when he said those comments, I just unsubscribed and I haven't, I haven't been back since. Makes sense. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he, he, he literally, literally tried to like, um, you know, um, crush just his like, spirit. Just, just like call me out like that. Yeah. Like, you, you asked for feedback. Right. You asked for feedback. And, I give you feedback. You can't get, and if this if it was constructive feedback, you can't get mad at constructive feedback. And if you do, that says more about you than about me. me. Yeah. So that was my interaction with the last guy that I did. I did AI versus AI. <laughs> Glad y'all, y'all are all not like that. <laughs> oh no, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. And I, I'm, I'm very much a person who is open to feedback, uh, constructive feedback, obviously, when it comes to sort of thing. I, I do periodically throughout the year, even I'll do surveys with my uh, community and I'll ask you, I'll ask you guys for, you know, what you like, what you don't like, they already think you can see me improve upon that sort of thing. So I, you know, like to do those things from time to time, just to continue to give people feedback and continue to grow. Cause that's my opinion, how you get better is by listening, learning and learning, and listening from other people uh, yes. and what they do and that sort of thing, which is why I'm glad that, you know, I've met you Cole. So now we can, you know, connect and learn from each other and just take pieces from each other, from each other. And that's a rising, rising tide of subboats or whatever the saying is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, that's how you, that's how people that make six figures keep six figures. They still, they, they listen mm -hmm. and they learn. A lot of people, sometimes they have that listening, um, well, they don't listen and they just like to run, run their yeah. mouth. And, um, I, I, I know the saying that closed mouths don't get fed, but sometimes you got to keep that mouth closed so you can get fed. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll, I'll, you, yeah. later yep. on, I'll go to sleep. But uh, <laughs> spitting yeah. bars out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm spitting them. So <laughs> perfect analogy right there. Um, learn to learn how to listen to constructive feedback. Because again, I learn something from you every day. I learn something from Dylan every day. I learn something from expert every day. Um, I learned yeah. some super kicks, J and W boss, uh, Malik plays, etc. I learned some from everybody every day. Even my yeah. heart. I don't. I, I don't know if people know how we met. So, you, I I can tell the story if you want. Yeah, ab absolutely. You tell yeah. that story yeah. because you probably know it better than me because I had a lot <laughs> going on this year. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. So. So I. So at a few months when. When I first got into doing universe mode content, I was kind of doing it on my own solo, you know, again, still am obviously, but I was very much, I remember the person was to be on my own island. I'm very isolated kind of person, introverted, that sort of thing. Uh, but I had been, I've been looking for a place where I could talk to other universe mode creators uh, to just pick their brain, learn more about how they do certain things or just kind of support each other in general. And I had got connected with uh, Craters. I had been following Crater for a little bit of time. And I had DM'd him randomly at one point in time. And he had met, he at in, in our conversation, he is he had, he had said, I, I have a universe mode creator discord or you know, discord chat that I can invite you to. At that point in time, I had uh I didn't blow him off because I didn't I I didn't I didn't blow him off, but I was very much kind of just still like in my own world, so to speak. So a few months later, I hit him back and I was like, hey, you know, if you still have the Discord open, you know, let me, I'd, I'd, I'd love to join again and connect with you guys. So I had been watching a lot of uh, uh, Boy Jim 123 at the point in time too. Uh, Cause I really, I really like his universe mode uh, content as well. Um, so that's how I got connected with Crater, which got me connected with. The Discord that we have, and now I know you know Cole and a bunch of other guys are in the Discord. So that's kind of how that all worked out, and I'm very grateful to be 
a part of that Discord, especially as probably one of the smallest uh, mem uh, members of that little uh, Discord community that we have over there. <laughs> and yes, one of yeah. our newer faces, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, you know, I really, really like thankful for that Discord. I, I was able to get you, meet you and uh, meet some people that I really didn't know that were in this space before that uh, Discord uh, uh, channel happened. And um, I'm really, really excited to see where everybody takes place and like, you know, and how, how everybody grows from it. Because, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, yeah, we're there to help each other. We're there to grow. We're there to improve our channels. We're there to um, get our names out there to other people mm -hmm. and their audiences. And I'm telling you, it works, man. I like I told you, man. I got the expert on the podcast and, you know, he told his story. We had told how we met, told some fun stories and we had a great time for the, the yeah. two hours that we were on here. And, <laughs> we, and look, look at him now. He's got his SummerSlam out. It comes out this month, by the way, guys, if you're watching this in August. Um, it comes out this month. Actually, I'll be, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be able to announce this yet, but I, you, you, I'll be doing a little <laughs> something, something. <laughs> at his SummerSlam show. So y'all stay tuned for that for the weekend whenever it is announced. Um, so uh yeah, um it's just like working with him the last uh we've been working for almost five years together now. It's been oh, great. Wow. Um he joined CTP in 20, 2019, 2020, uh, became a full-time CTP member. Um I've been working on all my full-fledged ideas that I had through my brain at this point. <laughs> um Working on season eight with me, will be on there for nine with me. Um, it's been a been a, been a ride, I would say. And he he's an inspiring professional wrestler as well. So I, I have two people that are on my team that are inspiring professional wrestlers. It is actually awesome. uh, actually crazy to me, um, and wild. And one of them has, well, two of them has children. So um, you know they they're family men. Um, you know, got one of them got a wife, one of them got a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, yeah. He, I, I I got him in all different phases of life over here, and um, and we're we're, we're diverse too. So we we have we have everybody from all walks of life. I, I don't discriminate over here. I was hoping I could possibly give me a female CTP member one of these yeah. days. I <laughs> I really want one bad. I just a lot of females just not into the universe mode thing like I thought. Um, there's only been men I've met so far, but I I know there's a female out here. There's gotta somewhere. be one, right? There's gotta I mean, be I mean, one that at least one. <laughs> I, I I I would love to have them on the team just to say I can beat those non-female allocations. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, you got everybody. You, right. you, you got African American, white, white Indian, but you you don't got that female. I was like, that's the one thing I'm missing. I, yeah, I, yeah, that's right. more, Thing. I, that's the only thing y'all can say I don't have on here on this team, but I got everything else from all walks of life, from well, from the pulpit, you know, all the way down to you know being be, having multiple children is on is on this team right, right now. So you know what I'm saying that's how we do it yeah. over here. Um, but I wanted to get into the thing. So for your other content, do you do that similar thing? Is that CPU versus CPU? Like for example, with the college football. I, I understand you probably have a dynasty going on. I think um, I haven't started one things? yet, but I will be. Yes. Um. Uh. But for my, for my dynasty mode and my franchise mode content, no, those those are more those are more of a, of me playing the game. So, uh, for that stuff in particular, I have many different inspirations for all my kinds of content that I do. For the rest, actually, um, for 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 the football comment, since you're playing the games, do you watch Mr. Hurricane? Yes. Yes, and he is uh he is actually one of my big inspirations for uh how I do my uh, dynasty modes, franchise modes in particular. Uh there's him, there's Blackjack and Deuce Deuce Douglas. Those are my main like three inspirations for uh franchise mode dynasty. Oh hell of yeah. Uh yeah, I love I love those guys. Uh so those my main so so for 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 the, for that kind of thing it's more of me playing the game and that kind of thing which honestly does lead to some some fun storylines depending on you know what's going on like in my Seahawks dynasty or franchise for Madden right now for example uh, I'm using again using the Seahawks and Geno Smith's been struggling this season because of me <laughs> but you know we're not going to talk about it I talk about that but the storyline is he's been struggling this season it's time for a quarterback change. So we make the change, and that episode will be out maybe within the next few weeks. I can get that out. 
uh, with the quarter with Drew Locke taking over as quarterback um, for the Seahawks. Ooh, so, man. so I. I yeah, that, uh, whenever Kane did the Andrew Locke for his Broncos, one. <laughs> yeah, God, that was that was an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, was, uh-huh. that season uh-huh. was interesting. That Madden 20 series, he had 200 yeah. episodes of that, by the way. Yeah, I don't know how he played that Madden 20 that game far in a, in a franchise. I would love to get that far in a franchise, and, and unfortunately, because I think this works to my advantage and disadvantage, I'm very much a person who likes to go slow with things. Number one. Because I, I like telling the stories and that kind of stuff. But also, I'm doing multiple different things. So I'm not just doing Madden content. <laughs> if I was no, doing yeah. just Madden content, sure. I, I think that's what you're saying as well. Faster. Because I couldn't imagine just doing Madden or just doing Dynasty or just doing, you know, well, I just do universe mode. I don't know what yeah, so, but, so, and it's funny, but, you but, but, it's funny you say that because I, I so I had a, a bit of a breakdown months ago because. Okay. Because I had I had you know people in my ear telling me, hey, you you need to niche down, pick one of the things, uh, you know, X Y Z, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And I stopped making content for a good like month or so because I just like I don't know what to do, <laughs> I know what to do, and and I was watching a Murphs video, believe it or not, um, Murphs was doing uh, I think it was a Kevin O, it was a Sammy, it was a Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn thing. I forget exactly which one it was. It was Kevin Owens Sami Zayn thing. And at the end of it, he had a quote in there that stuck with me. Um, and it was something along the lines of, sometimes you, should, you, you just need to be true to yourself no matter what. And that stuck with me because I'm like, I like that. Because at that point, I was struggling with, what do I do for my content? Do I niche down? Do I stick with variety? You know, what do I do? And I'm like, look, I have all these different interests and I don't want to be pigeonholed into one thing because you see mm-hmm. all the time with those different creators, a lot of bigger creators in the wrestling space. Chris Danger, for example, comes to mind. Uh, Dank Ops. Um, he's a guy who's always done wrestling content. And when he went to go branch out to do other things, you know, people didn't vibe with that as much because they wanted and they came for the wrestling content, which is fine. But if Chris wanted to go off and do other things, he was kind of SOL and he couldn't do it. Uh, with me kind of starting in that variety center already, I'm not pigeonholing myself and I'm not getting bored doing one thing. And because I have all these different interests for sports, um, it just keeps everything for me. It keeps me more motivated to do a different thing every week or, you know, whenever I get to uh, making the videos, uploading them and that kind of stuff. Uh, So for me, that's kind of why I don't focus on one particular thing. Uh, I don't want to get bored doing it. I like having all my various interests and bases be covered. And I've gotten to the point, this point where I am now doing that already. So for me, that's kind of validating to kind of see that, hey, there is an audience for variety sports content on a YouTube channel. It may be less traditional, sure, but... Oh, yeah. You know, if it, it it's working for me so far, so I'm and I'm okay with that. Yeah, and I was just gonna touch touch base on that. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Okay, um, it's the reason why I started doing incorporating more of the podcast, more of the live streams, more of the um, interviews and stuff on the channel is because you know, yeah, this channel is mainly known for universe mode, but you get different types of universe modes every time. It's not just it's not just like the same niche thing every time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we've incorporated different things. I, I remember I even had a Fortnite phase. I used to stream Fortnite on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. Um, um, we, I don't know. I don't know why we called this the bashing gang, but that was, that was our shit. <laughs> right we, we were young and naive. I can't use that these days, but, um, hopefully you two don't, don't, don't demonetize me for saying that, but, uh, <laughs> they, they shouldn't cause we haven't cussed in this video and we are past oh, yeah. the, the 60 second mark. So we should yeah. be good. We um, passed we pass, uh, an hour and uh, eight and seven, seven, seven minutes ago. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so, we're, so we're good. Um, we're good. Yeah. Definitely good. But, um, you know, I like that. Um, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you some sound advice here. And I'm going to tell everybody right. that's on this, that watching this, that do multiple things on their YouTube channel. Keep doing it. Do not listen to them people. Do not pick a niche. Okay. Do what you're doing because. You see how your stuff says B Ron Sports? Mm-hmm. If you stop playing baseball, if you stop 
doing Madden, if you stop doing universe mode, that sports with the Yes, let me let me take I'm gonna take y'all back to school because I know because because well, well I know some of y'all might not might be going back to school the next week when this video comes out. But let me get y'all ready for your English classes if y'all going back to school soon. That S means multiple things, okay? Uh -huh. that, 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 that don't mean I could just do universe mode and just do that. Because mm -hmm. where's the S? Right. That's just that's a sport. Yeah, right. That's S sport. That's S P O R T. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's not S. <laughs> exactly. It will take you a while to build the audience. You see that right now. It took you four yeah. years to get 300 subscribers because you don't have a niche. A lot of people like people with niches. They like to say, Mr. Hurricane is the football guy. Like, for example, right. Merce is your wrestling guy. Um, give another example. I know you, I know you, um, some Chris NFL Smooth. channels like Chris Smooth uh, is your basketball guy, primarily. Chris Smooth is your basketball guy. Okay. Yeah. When I think of NBA 2K, I think of Chris Smooth. Bro. When I think of mm. Universe Mode, or used to, I think of Merce YT13. Now I think of Russell, Paul, Russell Plus now, because he's a yeah. big creator. He's one of the biggest that's left. Um, When I think of, or, or I think of myself sometimes, too. I just think highly of myself yes, sometimes. Sir. But uh, <laughs> right? when I think of Dynasty in college football, I think of C4. I think of Bengal. I think of... um. Who else is out there that does college football content? Um, I can't call his Uncle name Sam, right now. Uncle Sam Rejects. Yes, I can't. I I, I can't. Uh, Femlo Raps. I think of him. Yes, Femlo. Um, yeah, I yes. love that guy. He's awesome. Yeah, he's, from, he's, he's from the boot, by the way. Shout out to Louisiana. Okay. He moved though. I was I was a little upset. I couldn't meet him in person, but he was right. He was thirty minutes away from me. I was upset. Oh that he man, moved. that would have been cool. Yeah, I wish I could have met him, but uh, he he moved from the boot though. But uh, he he is a Louisiana resident, born and raised here. Um. That's the people I think of whenever I think of those things. And that's okay. I'm not saying that they're wrong for having that niche. Yeah. Because they do this as a job. This is their job. Okay. Right. Whenever, whenever you get that constant string of income in, that's when people pick niches. I'm gonna tell you this. When you when you when you get monetized, because you will be monetized by probably by next year. That's my prediction. Um, when you get monetized and you get your watch hours, don't don't do a niche. No. Keep doing what you're doing because number one, it's going to keep you doing this longer than people that have niches. Number two, you're never going to get bored with this because you say, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to record universe one day. I want to hop on college football 25. Mm -hmm. The luxury you have. See how universe more critics that does, that does a job and the pro wrestling, wrestling critics, the what ifs and stuff, they got to do that. Yeah. that is, you make income. They're forced to get on 2K every day. You don't have to get on 2K every day. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get on Madden every day. If Madden pissing you off uh, today, <laughs> okay, yep. I'm turning this game off. I'm, I'm going to get. I'm going to play this baseball game. If the baseball game make you mad today, I'm going to get on NBA 2K. Do my little my career or whatever you're doing NBA 2K franchise mode on 2K. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that. I'm, I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go play a basketball game today. You you don't you don't have that saying that I have to make a universe mode video this week. You don't have to do mm -hmm. that. I don't have to do that either. If I don't want, if I don't want to record RH today, I don't have to record RH today. I'm gonna go make me a podcast today, or or, or I'm gonna go get on College Football 25 today, or I'm or, or I'm gonna go live stream a, um, a single player game on my second channel today. I don't have to do anything I want. I don't want to do. Yeah, and, and you're not forced to do that. Yeah, your fans gonna clamor. Where's Universe Mode? Where is Dynasty Mode? You know, because you're gonna have an audience for that for right. each each section they're gonna clamor for it but at the end of the day you're never gonna get bored you're never gonna get tired you're never gonna get burnt out you have an advantage that nobody else that mo most people on this app do not have yeah because they they're niches yeah and they're and there's nothing wrong with having a niche nothing wrong, nothing with, wrong that. with that but whenever that niche get tiring or you or you fall out of love with that niche then you're, you're looking stuck. at how you're gonna pay your bills mm -hmm. that causes yep. depression Yep. That, and that was exactly why I knew like kind of when, when I was having that crisis that I was going through, you know, that's why I was like, I don't want to be that person who gets stuck doing this one thing because that, that, that doesn't sit right with me. And, you know, when it comes to making content in general, if you don't like what you're doing, people can tell and they will be able to tell. Oh yeah. And, okay. and if, and and you know if I you, won't call our names, but certain yeah. universe more creators, you could tell 
who who in it for a check? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm 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 a, I'm a pause it right there. Ouch if you gotta, but um, you could tell. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I don't, don't want to be that be person. Like that. No, no, right, exactly. I don't want to be that person who's, you know, not enjoying what I'm doing. And if I'm enjoying what I'm doing, it's gonna come across in the content, which means that the people watching it are going to. In turn, hopefully, enjoy what enjoy what they're watching because the creator is having a good time with what they're making. When you're passionate, yep. when you're passionate about what you're doing, it shows, and that makes everybody else want to look at you and go, "Oh, hey, I like this guy. Let me check out more of his stuff because he's clearly passionate about what he wants to do." And I'm gonna rock with him regardless yeah. of what it is. It's called YouTube for a reason, right? You, you, you're you being... Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going I'm, to I'm throw a little bone in here. You're being you. Yes. Bone. Exactly. You got it. I'm, 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 I'm bomb yeah. sure right there. Y'all going to catch me when y'all go sleep again. You're being <laughs> you. Okay? Yeah. And, um, I remember before JRJ, uh, the official JRJ, he had quit YouTube because he uh, he's focusing on his personal life now. He had this thing that thing that he had to say that says be officially you and that stuck with me because i was going through that same crisis you had in 2022 um i felt like i didn't have enough time to do what i wanted to do on here and i had a relationship at the time so I, it life was life yeah and yeah. I, I had to have that i had that hard conversation i you know i was breaking it down with my bookers and stuff trying to figure out what i want to do on here Cause I felt like I couldn't keep up with the quality I I I, I would the and the standard that I had, yeah. Step for myself, um, and what I want to hit uh in like for my quarterly, um, and my bookers was like, man, you seen what happened for how long we took on these shows? People still show up, so why why are you stressing out? Mm-hmm. What why 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 are you upset? It took us six months to get here. They they still showed up, and you and, and you you got subscribers from it. Yeah, and and and, and, it re- and it really set in stone that okay, yeah, I don't upload every week like some people. Yeah, I don't put out that content like that consistently, but when it comes out, people show up. Yeah, and that's something that I had day. to I had to learn too, and cut you off there, mm-hmm. but I had to learn that same thing because for a while there, when I first started, you know, I was the person who wanted to upload weekly because that was a goal that I had for myself, but. Once well, again, when I had that breakdown, that was another part of it too. I didn't I felt like I didn't have enough time to get everything done that I wanted to get done, and you know, Pete and I had people uh, from the community. Just you know, I I had a community post talking about everything, and people were like, "Look, like take your time making things. Like we're gonna be here for it regardless." Uh, and that was great to hear because it just kind of shows me that hey. I don't need to rush to get things done. I can take my time and make things how I want to, how I want them to be made and not have to worry about hitting a goal for myself. Uh, if it, if, if that goal means, means getting closer to burnout or having another breakdown, it's not worth it to me. No, it's worth it. so it's, I will it, it, upload it, it, when I upload and that's going to be, it's going to be what it's going to be. Burnout, burnout is never the answer. Burnout is not something not something that any YouTuber should be going through. Period. Um, you just gotta trust the process. And like I like I told you earlier, everybody's time and everybody's process is different. Yeah. And I am proud of you. Three hundred subscribers as of this recording. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be when this is uploaded. But uh, you got <laughs> the the Twitter followers are going up, and slowly but surely, you're getting where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And and you know. You know, if it's a little different than everybody else, it's okay. Yeah. It's, so, yeah. It's, it's okay to be different people. Yep. And that's one of those things that I really struggle with is imposter syndrome. I don't, I don't want to get too, too, too personal uh, mm-hmm. on here, you know. But... Oh, people, oh, 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 people tell their life stories on here. So you good. You good. Come on. <laughs> okay. Come all on. right. All right. So, yeah. So I, 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 I struggle with depression and that kind of stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. And it really doesn't do me any favors to, you know, think about that sort of stuff. But you, unfortunately, because of the field, the field that we're in, that we're trying to get into, it's a part of the process, but it's about how you kind of manage those kinds of thoughts and dealing with that imposter syndrome. That was a big part of why I had that breakdown back all the months ago uh, when I had it. Um, so for me, 
trying to deal with that was really hard because it's like you see everybody else uploading weekly or uploading multiple times in a week and they're doing xyz having all the success that you would like to have for yourself and you're not you're not able to do to replicate what they do makes you feel a little inferior uh because you're like i'm not i'm not like my peers uh but one of the things well, with well, that well, is you you have to be think the thing is though that you and your peers are in different stages of life right exactly exactly come on, come and that's what i was gonna say Cause, cause, yeah because but i understand you know the depression and stuff i do suffer with some of that sometimes too um it comes and goes um i have like academic uh sometimes yeah. with my depression academically uh Absolutely. i don't really have yeah. like actual like depression depression is with through school and stuff mm, so I, I i completely understand the that that saying that okay i'm not like my peers or i didn't do as well as this or this did not perform like i wanted to perform but you gotta yeah. think whenever, whenever those thoughts come up and this is what my therapist told me okay he, he he said this he was like are you that person are you making that same content as that person because think about it you comparing yourself to somebody that's like 25 years old probably probably working a little not a little bit a, a little job you know full-time yeah. job coming home doing this he he, he got to get this out on this day you compare yourself to a 21 year old man that that, that, that works nights mm -hmm. you, you 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 just told us what you do daily okay you do that he working nights he got he, he got all day to work on this stuff then he go to work yeah okay you working during the day you be tired Plus, you're making three other, you're making four different things on your channel. So why, so 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 why are you upset that he getting this thing out right, every exactly. every Monday and Friday? Just for an example, I ain't naming names. Yeah, he getting this out there every Monday and Friday, and you haven't uploaded yours since since two since two weeks ago. But you got a whole new game that you got downloaded on your console because you about to start a new series. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So why yep. so why why are you feeling the imposter syndrome? Yep. He got he doing this one little thing on his channel. He 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 young, 21 years old. He worked nights. You work during the day. You be tired. Okay? It's okay. Right. You got you want to take yeah. a shower, you want to eat your food, you want you want to play you will play a little game and you want to go to bed. Right. Now it. you got to get up in the morning and go to work. While you sleeping at night, he working. He he coming back. He got he got he going to go to sleep for a little bit and get back on the work, get back on the grind. But you got to go to work. You worked in the day. So why are you comparing your life to his? Right, exactly. And, and that's and that's one of the things that my therapist, you know, has kind of told me is like, you know, you you can't compare to the other people because everybody else is going going through things at a different pace than everybody else is. You, you know, and that's absolutely and he great. might and he might be suffering with something else that you don't even know about. He might have some, he might be sick or something. Mm -hmm. Or he might be having some family issues at home, and you and recording that so fast and getting it to the audience might be his escape. You don't know what people are going through. Yep. You don't know. You don't know. That's why you shouldn't compare your life to nobody. Yep. I, 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 you know, comparisons a thief of joy. I yep, talk about exactly, all the time. Exactly. I was just ready to say that we're on the same wavelength, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> it is. It, it, it is a thief of joy because everybody's life is different. Everybody on their own path. Everybody go through their own different things. That's why I don't. I don't compare my life to nobody. Okay, I live my own. You know, oh, I, I I I count the money that comes in because that don't. Yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, I got to I got to make sure I sustain my living. I'm not I'm not sustaining Jonathan's living or or Samantha's living. Okay, because Samantha mm -hmm. and Jonathan don't live with me. Okay, right. Samantha and Jonathan live in that social media life, and that's fine with them. Let them do what they gotta do, but that they, 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 that ain't my life. Yeah. Samantha and Jonathan not not taking my my courses, not not in my major. They don't know what I go through. Okay. Yeah. So you know, you know, having someone to give advice to is fine, but never compare with this situation to yours. You don't do that. And you know, I I know it comes and goes because you have imposter syndrome, so it's going to happen regardless. Yeah. But whenever those things come up, think about think about what I just said the last three minutes. Yeah. Think they think about that. Think about who you comparing yourself to. Think about mm -hmm. what they possibly got going on compared to what you got going on. Are y'all last the same? Absolutely not. No. Y'all might have y'all might have things in common. Right. You know. 
But you sometimes sometimes with this imposter syndrome, you be comparing people that live thousands of miles away from you. <laughs> yeah. Would you yeah. would you compare somebody that live in Los Angeles, California, to you living in Maryland? Mm hmm. Do you, you you know how different the economies are there and what what they got going on compared to what you got going on? And you and you trying to figure out why I ain't doing the same thing they doing? Right. Yeah. No. You're absolutely right. Hundred percent. That's even that's even for people that don't suffer from imposter syndrome. Listen right. to what we saying. Exactly right. Yeah, you compare yeah. somebody that live in California, you might live in you you might live in freaking New York or Florida. Why you compare somebody that live in California? Why why are you trying to why are you trying to compare their life to yours? Y'all might be mm -hmm. different ages, got different backgrounds, different jobs, different relationships. Why are you comparing your life to them? Right. What what make uh, this, 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 this is what I say. What makes their life so special that you need to have it? Think about that. Think, think about that when you that's, when, that's when, when you're comparing yourself to somebody. That's what good. do like they that. have that you can't get on your own? That's good. I like that. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna keep that up here. I like that one. That's good. That's a good I'm, one. See, I'm, look, I'm, we I'm, we learned for everybody today. Some of y'all gonna catch that later on, but I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna repeat <laughs> it again. What do you have? That you would sorry, what do they have that you I'm talking to you that you specifically, specifically, specific S P A C I A C L A Y specifically <laughs> can't get on your own. Book that, bookmark that, pin that, put it up, put it in a book. I don't know what you gotta do. All right. Ask yourself that time. question the next time. You trying to compare your life to somebody else. What they have that you can't get on your own. Because I promise you, 95% of the time, whatever, whatever you, you you they have, you can get it yourself with the hard work you put in. 100 percent agree. You're on the same page. Oh man, I'm 100%. on the road tonight. <laughs> I'm on the road tonight, man. We, I, I, I love we are doing cooking. This. We, yeah, we are, are we 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 are cooking tonight, man. Oh yeah, and and, and the grease ain't popping. Is it is, is smooth and <laughs> nope. buttery tonight, man? Yes, sir. Man, but yes, all right, man. Yes. We I got I got to a few more questions for you. Yeah, man. yeah, of course. And before before we wrap things up, man, it's been a great conversation. So really, I want to talk about now. When did you start watching wrestling? I ask this question to everybody that's a wrestling fan. Everybody answer wrestling? Different. All right, yeah, come on. Give it attitude era. Uh. Attitude Era, Rock, Stone Cold. 90, so 96, 90, 97? Yes. That sounds, yeah, that sounds about right because, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I was five in 95, so that sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> so it was around, around then, around then. I'm telling your yeah. age. The, the, the a little bit. They'll figure out your age now. They'll figure That's well. fine. They'll figure it out. <laughs> it's fine. You do if the he, math. If, <laughs> if he was five at that age, would it seem 20? How old right? How old am I now? <laughs> come on, come, 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 come on, right. comment section. Tell me now. I want here. I want hear his age. Guess that age now. Yeah, guess that age. So like, well, we'll let we'll. I'll come back. I'll let you know if you're right or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'll be watching the comments, y'all. Yeah, I absolutely will be. Absolutely will be. Yeah. So it was around that era. Um, and it's so weird because looking back at that era of wrestling compared to what it is now, uh. I have a greater pre appreciation for it now as an adult. I was going to do it as a, as a kid. Number one, that's obvious, I feel like. But there's just the athleticism from then till now has just, you know, ballooned and gotten so much better uh, than what it was all those years ago. And there's still very different styles. You still have your, you know, Stone Cold like kind of kind of style of wrestling. You still have you still have Rey Mysterio, who's literally still around wrestling in WWE now, and he was wrestling back when I was a little kid, uh, watching in '97. You know what I mean? Ooh. So it's 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 something, man. So yeah, that's when I first started watching wrestling. Wow, you said '97. Yeah, '95, '97. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, know, you were you were a kid. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Was, uh... My mother, my mother was a year out of high school. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, 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 that's crazy. Age is something. She, man, she, 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 she graduated in 96 and you were 97, you were a child. That's well. Yep. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay, so um, just a few more things. Um, yeah. I know. I, I know. You say you watch football, basketball. Who's your favorite teams? Uh, for for football, it's the Ravens. Um, oh, yeah, and for Maryland, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Uh, and then for basketball, unfortunately, it's the Wizards because they're in what they're in DC and they're the closest team to me. Uh, oh so, boy, yeah. you're a Wizards fan. Y'all haven't won nothing ever. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you something. The the only time I went to a Wizards game that I can remember, Michael Jordan was still on the team. He was hurt that day, so we didn't get to see him play. Oh, yeah, boy, you definitely telling your age. God dang. <laughs> Michael Jordan haven't played in he haven't played in over twenty some years. Bro. Yeah, yeah, and that and that was on the tail end of his career too. Well, yeah, like, yeah, he was, yeah, the yeah. he was the so, um yeah. that was forty year old Jordan. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't Carol Jordan though. He, that's he, still he, Jordan. Look, look, he had the gut, uh, the 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 stomach gut. <laughs> yeah, he, look, yeah, he, look, he had a little whatever. weight on him. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron was still LeBron was in his first or second year. <laughs> and now he now he's going into year 22 now. Yeah, it's insane. Insane how time oh, man. passes and works like that, man. I swear. I swear. Oh man. And, and back to the Ravens, though. How you, what happened? What, what happened this year? Y'all, what happened? Y'all say y'all y'all had the team, y'all had the yeah. best quarterback in the NFL. What, yeah. what happened, man? Man, a lot of things. <laughs> Unfortunately, it always comes down to health. Uh, at the end of a season, I feel like, especially, uh, I'm not, I'm not a person who believes in in excuses, mm -hmm. um, but I but I but I believe there are reasons for things. If that makes sense, excuses and reasons are one very same. different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you know, you had the injuries and all that, and of course, it's part of football. It happens, and you know, they just, some of these don't go your way. Unfortunately, that's just sports, man. You got to take it for what it is. But hopefully this, and we know we're going to say it. We're going to keep saying it until it happens. This is going to be the year. And we got we to gotta keep saying it to ourselves until it happens. Because oh, yeah. we're still you, very you, competitive. You I and them Cowboys fans. We them boys until you get to the playoffs. Yeah. And, and I think we're still very, I think we're still going to be a very competitive team. And I think that we'll still make a decent run. Uh, we get well, a decent record, you know, get to the playoffs and we'll go from there. I think really? it's still. I think I do think unbiasedly it's still the Chiefs' uh, conference to win. So, you know. Yeah, I think the Chiefs could easily threepeat. The problem with threepeating is just like you said, it's health. Um, yeah. But they've proven that even with the health and losing people, that they can still win. They, this mm -hmm. was their down year, and they won last right. year. Exactly. I never forget. I was. I was on. I was on. I was. I was on the cruise. The same cruise I'm going on <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, at leaving tomorrow. By the way, this is uh coming out. This is being recorded before my cruise, and it will be coming out after. I'll I'll let y'all know in the chat how my cruise went. Um, <laughs> but uh, I never forget. I was on the boat. They pl they played the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl came out the day after my birthday. So I was on. I was. We were, we were in the middle of the ocean that night. Um and. Man, oh man! Whenever uh, I watched it with my mama, I watched it with my um, couple, couple of my mama's best friends, uh, yeah. and a couple of some mutual family friends that we had, and um, we were pulling for the. We, I I was pulling for. Um, I am a Seahawks fan, so okay, take that, take that with you will. I I'm a Seahawks fan, and I support the hometown team, the Saints. So if the Saints, yeah. the Saints make the playoffs, and and they're not playing the Seahawks. I'm gonna support. I'm gonna cheer for the Saints. As long as they're not playing the Seahawks, I would cheer for the Saints because I'm I, I that's what I do. Um, because I wherever I wherever I I'm going to live at, I'm going to support the hometown team. Yeah. Um, just how you, just how you're supposed to do it down here. So <laughs> I had um, I was like, okay, I don't want the 49ers to win because they're in my conference, the NFC West. Um, right. Yeah, they represent the NFC. I don't, but I don't want them to win because as Seahawks fans, that's our rival. So I was yeah. pulling for the Chiefs. And whenever that touchdown hit, I I've I've never seen a more disappointed half of the cruise. <laughs> people, people people jaws were on the floor like I believe it. The 49ers blew it, and I couldn't text my friends and tell them that hey guys um um you know the Chiefs Chiefs won a Super Bowl. I had to wait five days <laughs> to come back to a constant like a hundred some messages. Yeah, did you see the Super Bowl? Oh my God, they freaking did it. <laughs> 
I was like, this was like four days ago, sir. Uh, what are you talking about? It's like the, it's like now the the fourteenth. What are you talking about? I mean, it's like, no, right. it, no, it's the no, it's the fifteenth, sixteenth. What are you talking about, bro? It's Friday. That happened like Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that it was, it was so funny. Like it's it's interesting when you take like I don't know if you've been on the cruise, but yeah, once when I was like nine or ten. Well, you don't get it as a like as an older thing. Yeah. When you older and take one and you shut and you shut this thing down right here, this phone, and you come back, it's like you miss like you 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 it's like you miss like months. I believe in it. days. I can believe so it. like I go back through all my apps because I am one of the side hustles. I have a couple side hustles. I do social media consulting, so I consult with uh other uh businesses and I help them with media marketing. Um mm -hmm. That's one of my side hustles. I'm a social media manager. I work for Gresh Unleashed as well, part time as well, working with as an editor with them. Um, and I help manage his website. I'm a writer as well. So I have a couple side hustles, and I also sell uh, insurance and security. So uh, okay, I'm oh. the, I'm a busy man on the side. So you know, like you always say, you always say the millionaires, um, they be having multiple side hustles and multiple things they do on the side. That's, that's true. Yeah. So. I'm I I want to aspire to have a lot of money to take care of my family for generations to come. So I want to have generational yeah. wealth. So I gotta do what I gotta do to get the silence. Yeah, we are so, boat there too, man. <laughs> so so this phone rings a lot, a lot. So like not as like calls, it's just text messaging and from DMs on Twitter, from DMs on Instagram, DMs on Facebook, DMs on Snapchat, etc. Yeah. So I had like over 50 plus messages I had to catch up on. People telling me they wanted to do this, they wanted to do that. How was this exam? You know, then my group, we got this thing in college called group me's. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, you, you, you ain't that old. So you, you know, <laughs> yeah. Group me's and stuff. So I my group me was oh, going to I was the first exam. Point. I'm like, bro, I didn't take the first exam. I was in, I was <laughs> right. in the freaking ocean. What are you right. talking about? <laughs> then I got a happy, then I got a happy Valentine's Day text from a friend that because they were like, Oh, you're single. So I want to tell you happy Valentine's Day. She says you can't tell nobody else. I'm like, sir, that was like three days ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> Damn, that was four days ago. Why, why, why am I getting this? It was like, I have chocolate for you, but it might be melted now. I'm like, yeah, uh I was gone. You didn't keep it in the fridge, you didn't keep it cold, nothing that's crazy. No, 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 no. They was like, you need to eat it, eat it, eat it, ASAP. Like, <laughs> I came that's back cute. and they was like, Oh, I'm so tired from the break and stuff like that. I'm like, I was I, I was <laughs> I was sun sun kissing. We don't know what you talking about. I was I was I was I wasn't I ain't tired at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. But it was it, it was it was, it was a wild time, man. I really recommend if you get some time and you and you, you get some get some money saved up, take you a cruise as an adult. You'll see. Exactly I, I would love about. to do that as an adult. That's one thing that I. That's one thing I really want to do actually, because again, going as a kid, totally different experience to go as an adult. I can imagine. Oh, absolutely. Because now, because now you're getting the R-rated comedy shows. Now you can start. Yeah. Now you can actually hit the liquor. Right. Right. right exactly. <laughs> You know, hey DJ, why don't you play my song? You know, I I I, I go hit that hit, hit look hit that nightclub at night, boy. I go I, I can't I can't tell some stories with that. I leave that off the internet right there, boy. Because yeah. I got some, I got me some cruise stories. I I really want to tell them on the podcast. I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell them on my podcast. Um, uh, on Anchor. I'm I'm I got I got I got to tell me something because man, there's some things I see on these ships that as a child you 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 didn't catch them. But as a grown man now, <laughs> first I day, believe it. Don't nothing get by your days. You're going to see some of the most interesting things. You're going to see how I, how I put it was, I was grateful for the way I was raised. That You know what? That, that, that tracks. That tracks. I feel like I would have the same kind of uh, thought process there because I feel like we were kind of brought up somewhat, somewhat similarly anyway. Yeah, a, I can see just when this conversation yeah, about to say. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> the things that they were doing, <laughs> man. man. <laughs> That's gonna be good. <laughs> absolutely. That's I definitely gonna be a meme. The blackest That's episode. You're gonna be a meme, ever. bro. <laughs> gonna be a meme from that, man. Woo, man. That, that was the blackest I, episode I, of the show. I'll oh yeah, that, 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 that's that's part, that's part <laughs> right there. I, I'm I'm that, that tastes the cake, bro. That tastes the cake right there. Cause I'm telling you, bro, 
it, 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 it was it was an experience, man. So that was the funniest. That's that's my little story uh for the for the Chiefs thing. I I I didn't see anything. And I was like, man, I wonder how all my sports friends doing right now. Uh, but I, I was, I was, I was in the water. Yeah. Everybody else was like, man, man, I can't believe he did it again. Mahomes a bad man. That's, that's all I heard. The whole cruise. Mahomes True. is a bad man. I said, can I drink my Bahama Mama? You've been talking about Mahomes for the last three days. I'm trying to drink my Bahama Mama. And please, okay, let me drink my liquor. I, 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 I'm here. I'm here from the comedy club. Mahomes is a Bad hey, man, I was so tired of hearing that. Then, then Stephen A. Smith said it when I when yeah, I came back. Right. I was to, the first take. Mahomes is a <laughs> bad man. I'm like, oh, bro, I just heard this for five days on this boat, and you try to tell me again. That's it. So you gonna hear about how media works, brother? That 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 that, that, that is look. That is yeah. how media works. Like that's real. Yep. I, that's some real stuff right there. I need the word, brother. Yep. We 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 try it with, with SimWorld just to get back to that real quick. We we, we try. Oh yeah, we're emulating media, so we're we're a media uh, organization as well as you know again the sports part of it too. So we kind of do similar things to what the media does. If you're gonna hear about X player a lot because they're that's who they are, you know. You're gonna hear about LeBron. You're gonna hear about Bronny. You're gonna hear about Mahomes. You're gonna hear about the top players in whatever league you're in because that's what drives the traffic. That's what people want to want to hear and and you know and that's what gets people people to talk about it. Trust and me, I took a uh, sports communication class yeah. in an elective. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, what I want to say, I think. Yeah, so you so you so you said your favorite sports teams. Do you have you watch any other sports real quick? So uh baseball, I'm a ba- baseball is actually my favorite sport. I grew up uh playing baseball. I played I played high school uh varsity baseball. Um uh baseball team, my favorite is the Orioles. Uh I also like the Arizona Na- Arizona Diamondbacks because I like their stadium specifically mm-hmm. and uh their colors. At one point, the Diamondbacks were purple, were purple, gold, and like teal green. Uh, I like that color scheme better than better than the uh, red and black they have now. But that's just because it was so different from what everybody else is doing. Red and black's a very common color scheme uh, when it comes to sports and sports teams. I feel like, and it's a good color combination in general. So you weren't seeing at that point. There was no other team that looked like that looked like the Arizona Diamondbacks back then. They also had you know guys like Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, Luis Gonzalez. You know, so yeah, they, they were they were they were good. They were good. Oh yeah, man, that 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 is, that is freaking awesome. Uh, I really love to see it. Um, you're gonna um, baseball is something I'm trying to get into. So um, hopefully, I could be into it. Uh, and within the next couple of years, um, baseball is but, one of those sports where you know you it's difficult, I think, to watch because there's so many games. Number one, there's a lot mm-hmm. going on, uh, but it also can for people who don't watch it and aren't fans of it already, it can be boring. And if that's wow. what it is, I'm like that's that's okay. But like I I always my, my thing is, or or they say it they say, they say the game moves slow. And with the with, with the new rules that are in place with the, with the pitch clock now, the games move a lot faster. The games are two and a half hours long, which really isn't that bad. But I always say, if you if you think baseball is slow, I want you I I, I want you to go to a game. I want you to go. I want you to go to a game, and like turn around or like not watch the game for a few minutes, turn back around, and then try to figure out what happened. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of gonna be kind of difficult to figure out what happened unless you're actively watching the game and paying attention to it. Yep. So yeah, that's the that's the thing. I got I gotta get in there and watch one. Somebody said that I should um go go. <laughs> if somebody said that I should go to a, a live baseball game and just and just see if I like it. So I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try uh, going to. Yeah, you you've got you've got the uh, you've got the uh, Triple A team uh, down there in uh. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking the wrong state. I'm bad. Wrong state. I yeah, was yeah. Gonna, I, I, I was gonna say uh, this ain't the door tonight, bro. Yeah, I, I'm we, we, the wrong we, state. We, we in the boat, you know. We the, 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 <laughs> yeah. the, the, the boat, the boat, you know, below sea level. I like to call it because we are. <laughs> so like, I'm not making this up, guys. We are. 
But uh, that's what I started my day. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it has been a great podcast. I'm gonna do things a little different since uh you you you're a new um uh, a guest that we haven't had since a month. I'm gonna yeah. ask you 26 questions to end the end the podcast. Okay. And I I need you to answer these as honestly as and as truthful as possible. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna time you like I like I normally do with the other guests. I okay. normally time them. <laughs> That's but it. since um, we've had a great conversation, I want to do a little things a little different. I want to see how people treat you just answering all the questions instead okay. of really answering them as quickly as possible. So after this, I'm um, and I answer I, and I close through the outro. You can say your social medias, um, and um, we'll, we'll be on out of here. You can have a great rest of your night. Because okay. by the way, guys, this is being reported at nighttime. You guys going to see this probably <laughs> in the afternoon. Y'all can have a great great rest of your afternoon. Whenever y'all see this video. All right. 26 questions. Yep. Uh, first question is, what's your favorite sandwich and where did you eat it? Favorite sandwich. Ooh. Um, it's a place called Canela's near me. And it's a it's a sub it's a, it's a sub shop. Uh, they have a it, it's 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 a, a, a ta- Italian. It's Italian cold cut is essentially what it is. Uh Real simple, but that's my favorite sandwich. What's your favorite place on earth? Place on earth. Ooh. Camden Yards. What's one place you visit that you never want to return to? <sighs> ah, that's tough. Mm. That's tough. That's interesting. Yeah. It's tough, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I said it because I, ha- I haven't gone many places. Oh, um, oh but I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've been, you, you been some bad places. Yeah, yeah no, no, I, no I, you we don't go many places. Um, I'll say, I'll say, uh, Queens, New York, because I don't have a reason to go there anymore. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> <thing to laughs> reason. That's go a good reason. Yeah, what's the best show on TV right now? Best show on TV, ha. <sighs> My Hero Academia, an anime guy. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Taco Big. What's the worst movie you've ever saw in your life? The worst movie? Oh, man. Um, Napoleon Dynamite. I heard about that one. Terrible. <laughs> What's the best thing you read in the last five years? Best thing I've read in the last five years. I'm actually currently reading it. Uh, welcome. It's a book called Welcome to Night Vale, based off based off of the podcast of the same name. What's the one item of clothing you could not live without? Oh boy. Some boxers. What do you mean? You, you, you gotta have <laughs> please, yo. Wear your underwear, people. Just saying. Please. So, so, so you can live without shoes and stuff. You, you can't, but that them boxers I mean, take the cake. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't have to go outside. So like I mean, you know, <laughs> I can stay inside, oh. whatever. It's fine. Oh, okay. So you like uh <laughs> I was like, okay, no shoes, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll be inside, it's fine. Yeah, I don't blame not. you. <laughs> huh? That's the boxers, I'll keep them on. I I need them. Uh, you know? yeah, I don't I don't yeah, you know. <laughs> Nobody wants to see all that, okay. Yeah. All right, that's what I'm saying. Save that, save that for the bedroom, brother. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> If you could only bring three things with you on a deserted island, what would you pick? Only three things. Only three things. Uh, a book, um, a music player of some sort, and a baseball. If you could save one material thing from a fire, what would it be? I could say one material thing from a fire? Material thing only. Hmm. My computer, because it has all, all my, my, all my uh, stuff on it that I need for work and everything. What's your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Oh, man. I got a lot of those. <laughs> um, biggest one, one? Biggest one is probably not being nice to... Retail workers or people in customer service positions. Yeah, that yeah that pisses me off. Because on. I used to work in the positions. Yeah, I, the people get treated terrible. Yeah. What is your favorite movie of all time? Oh man, this I have so many. 
Let and it's funny, it. it's funny because I'm not a I'm really, brain. Come on. Yeah, I'm really not a big movie guy. I don't I haven't watched a lot of movies, but the ones that I have watched, I really enjoyed them. Give me give me the Warriors. Oh, I've never got that answer before when I asked that question. What is the best concert you've ever been to? Best one. Um there was a one, it's one of the first ones that I can remember going to uh, the All American Rejects. That was my first concert, my first concert ever for my twenty first birthday. My dad got, got me tickets for. Tell that age. Uh, what's <laughs> yeah. the worst date you've ever been on? Um, I was supposed to meet this girl uh, at a place called the Avenue, where I, where I live at. She and you up? yes, hit me up. Yep. Yes, that would she would have been blocked after that one. Would you write? Oh wait, how old were you when this happened? This was a few years ago, so I think I was like twenty eight, twenty nine when it happened. Okay. It was a few years ago. Yeah, she would have been blocked. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather be hot or cold? Man, this is tough because right now I have no way to see in my house because our fan is out. <sighs> But I love the summertime, and I summer and spring is my best time for me. So I'll t I'll still take being hot or being cold. Y'all, y'all heard that right? At That's crazy. Recording, That's so, crazy. So, so, but I don't know. B Ron might be in the chat right now, so he might give us an update in a couple of days. He might have AC um, or fans right now. But y'all yeah, heard it yeah, at the time of this recording. Yeah, y'all got, got fans. We got fans. I'm in the my, basement too recording. So yeah. Cause Ooh, my man. two my two blasting right now. Cause he said I I couldn't imagine no AC. I cry. <laughs> I, I I I have no lot of that. I, I, <laughs> I have hard, I I I have hard tears right now. What's your favorite karaoke song? Karaoke song. Hmm. Give me beat it, Uncle Jackson. What's your favorite quote? I think you I think you said it earlier. Yes, that is that is one of them. Uh, okay, another one just for for, for the sake for the sake of the question, um, actually comes from the Moment of Truth song by Gangstar. Mm -hmm. um, it's only at the top, and whatever you do, you always gotta watch people around you. Uh, nobody, nobody's invincible. No man is bulletproof. We always need we almost need a moment of truth. All right. What's the what's what was the best meal you've ever ate? Best meal I've ever ate. Oh man. Uh my grandma makes a really good chicken pot pie. That's still like hands down one of the best. Yeah, I could tell you could tell you from the north. I never heard that before. What's your <laughs> least favorite she, genre she of music? <laughs> How she sells it? Yeah, she's she she she's from she's from North North North, North Carolina. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never knew they cooked that. It's it's essentially chicken and dumplings, but that's what she. Calls I it. never had dumplings before, so that's what makes sense. <laughs> what's, what what what's your least favorite genre of music? Don't country. Do, yeah, country fans don't don't mess with don't attack yeah. them right now. Do you like <laughs> coffee or tea better? Tea. What's your favorite way to spend a day off? I think I know this. Don't answer this one. <laughs> playing video games. Do I have anything else to do? Playing video games there or reading a book. What's your favorite type of music? Favorite type of music, uh, hip hop, rap, R&B. What's that, what, what? What was the best vacation you've ever took, and why? Best vacation. Um, went so my very first. I'll use that one music. My very first Otakon. Uh, Otakon is an anime convention that's in the DC in the DC Maryland area uh, every year. Um, and my first one was special just because it was my first one. Going through who I had met for, uh, who I know at the time, and I still know, still am good friends with a lot of them to this day. Okay, um, a few more. What's your yeah. guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Um, guilty pleasure. Let's go with the good pleasure food, and let's say Taco Bell. Even though it's a comfort food, it's still a guilty pleasure because it's like, you know, <laughs> Rod shouldn't be eating it, you know, fast food and all of that, but like, you know, can't help it. It's good, bro. <laughs> all right. Favorite color? Blue. 
Nice. That's my favorite color too. Yeah. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Uh at one point I was a night owl because I was I would work nights and I would close, but now I'm an early bird. All right, and we're gonna end it off with definitely a positive note here. What and you're in your life right now in the year of our Lord 2024, are mm-hmm. you most thankful for? Ah, uh, thankful for the ability to do the things that I do and have the ability to, to chase my dreams with a good support system with a good support system around me. Hey man, man, that 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 takes the cake right there. I, I got nothing else. I'm through. Thank you so <laughs> much, man, course, uh, for your time. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Train Talks podcast slash the Cold Train interviews. Another interview in the books. It has been a pleasure talking to you, man. Um, getting to know you, picking your brain. Yeah. Um, and I learned a lot from you because again, I told you uh behind the scenes, I learned from everybody, and I, I took a lot away from this podcast. And I hope that everybody that listened to this damn near two hour podcast <laughs> takes the yeah. same thing away from it that I did. If you guys enjoyed this podcast, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to your channel down below, man. Be sure to check out B Ron's channel. Um, he will send me all his links that he has on social media that he wants to be shared. <laughs> they don't want to be shared on social media. Um, and I will I will have that in the description down below. I will also have that in the pinned comment. Um, be sure to follow me on uh, Instagram at Coltrane2018. Follow my Twitter at CTP underscore 2025. Thank you guys for halfway. We're almost halfway to 1,000 followers on Twitter again uh, after my Twitter got suspended due to some AEW shenanigans. But, um, you know, behind the scenes, my creative director is handling that. Um, we shouldn't have those problems ever again. Um, uh, make sure you guys uh, check out my Discord channel, uh, Cold Train Productions. I have my own exclusive Discord. Uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, please do that as well. You can uh, you can also join, hit our join button on YouTube for exclusive content as well. We're trying to push that into the fall fall twenty twenty four for like things like early interviews, exclusive interviews with celebrities. If we get those, uh, they'll be under they'll be under uh, paid one ninety nine. You have to pay to see it early before everybody else sees it. Um, that is something I'm working on um, on getting. Also, some things from the Against the Rose podcast that we don't have public right now. Um, I might uh, put it on there for exclusively for channel members only. So. Make sure you check out the channel members. Uh, let me know what y'all want to see exclusively for channel members. Uh, if for if for you wanted to uh, do that service, um, and I will um, uh, try to uh, entice that uh, for your needs for supporting the channel in that way. Um, follow all my social medias, of course. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. We have another interview dropping uh, this month with Dylan Tulin. I tell you that now. We already have it planned. I'm, I'm really confident it will happen. He is the next interview after Mr. B-Ron. Check out B-Ron's channel. Um, you know, if y'all took away from anything from this, man, just go check him out. Uh, y'all like sports, all the sports we talked about. Go check him out. He got some great things going on over there. Let's see if we can get B-Ron to 400 or 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I think that we can definitely do that with the push from you guys watching this video. And uh, he's a great person of mine, great friend of mine. And I want you guys to go check out at least something that he's making on this channel. I really, really appreciate y'all hitting that subscribe button for him. But that's all I got, y'all. Remember to be glorious at every single thing you do and be phenomenal or be forgotten. It's not just a saying. That is a way of life. I've been your host, Cold Train, and I'll see you guys in the next podcast. Be right. You got your, you got a little outro? Yeah. Keep on shining and keep on grinding. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.